recovery efforts are still in the works almost two years after Hurricane Matthew. Now, some say a $750,000 grant could push those efforts forward. WNCT's Dominique Moody explains how. The funding is set to help structures similar to this one who received more than 18 inches of water during Hurricane Matthew. It's really, really bad. All the houses around here was underwater. Remnants of damage still remain nearly two years after the storm. The sinking of the floors, sinking of the porch, the cellaring from all of the water that we've had out here in this area in the past few years. I spoke with Dolores, who didn't want to speak on camera, as the very thought of the disaster brings back painful memories. No water came inside, but all of my water damage was on the outside. Yet, while some gave up, she had another reason to keep going. You know, I had this child to look out for, and then I have other <laughs> family members that, you know, that I have to look out for. I mean, being the older one, I got to be strong for them. While Dolores' strength is admirable, it's still not enough to fix the damage around her house. Anything that would help the families, including me back here. In Monday night's meeting, the Craven County Board approved the budget, which now means $300,000 of the funding will go to the rehabilitation of several structures. Another $375,000 will go toward construction. With the decision, Dolores and other homeowners are another step closer to receiving the help that they need. God helps everything is going to work out. Now the person who lives inside this house as well as several other neighbors tell me that they will accept any help that they can get as long as it can help them get back to the way that things used to be. But for now we're reporting in Craven County. Dominique Moody, 900 Side.